her face that you know we don't Howdy see guys. a while ago remember so it is a so final uh, um, okay that move I think was the best move before in she the drugs, to the Anton, world cup now 2023 like, who's defending hell in Baku, who's defending F3? Azerbaijan uh, it's kind of passive, and the rook this is the second move, right? uh, game of the final round. And then probably off the dial, uh, there's an the yeah. first game. All the three pieces, uh, yeah, players, of the black players, uh, the results the result was a, three, a draw. Mm, yeah, there's only so, one way to guard the pawn, so you gotta go passive. Who or you can wins even go today knight in this game mm. two? And then put the other knight to f4. Uh, in game two? Or will be you know, you uh, like declared your king as the champion. Okay. Is uh, going to the end game. Uh, uh, like this one, yeah. Already. So mm, let's see how. Playable. So as well. the commentators for the I mean, World Cup is uh, I am Irene Skandar from Indonesia <laughs> and yeah, I am. Uh, yeah, Irene night, night here also really interesting. Crash from USA. Yeah, yeah it's very okay, tricky. Okay, let's now. see. It's, like it's, too, it's, too, uh, it's kind of too out of control now. But Gedechkina hasn't put the rook on d3 yet. She's no. still thinking. She's still thinking, yeah. No, but I think she will. Like, this move is too, too much to pass up, isn't it? It's yeah. like your only attack on anything in this position. Yeah, yeah, it's so tempting to not to play it. So, wow, then there's another scenario. Then. It means that tomorrow we might have our second tie break, yeah? Yeah, and that means like, just like last time we had two tie breaks, right? We had one female yep. and one open section mm -hmm. tie break. We're gonna have the same situation and we're gonna have Prague involved in a tie break again. Mm -hmm. And now king f5 instead of rook d3, okay. king f5. King f5, maybe Still not, okay. not as precise, probably, but... Um, yeah, no, it definitely would have been better to, like, tie down the rook. There's right, literally yeah. nothing wrong with that, but... You know, now maybe there's knight f2 and the rook can come in with a, kind of a check threat, at least. Yeah. I don't know. Um, in this position, uh, I think so. We'll just play knight g3 and then put the knight back to e4 uh, again. Um, I think at this point she might actually realize that even though she's having minutes. two extra pawns, mm -hmm. but there is no progress uh, progress to be to be made. Mm -hmm. Or she's playing no, something as h4. All right. I hope that she doesn't like expose her king too much. With that that's move. that's a bit scary. Seven. Seven? That's what I'm afraid of actually. Wow. So what is going minute. on? So wow. Okay. That's, that's, that's very common. I guess there's knight g3 and h5. So that's her point. That's her point. While but, but this is very comical. It, it is, yeah. But she, I guess she feels of, like she's got to do something uh, to get this king out. Is... So what if you just... Okay, you have to move the rook. Rook, check. King there. And actually, how do you save that pawn? Because the pawn's under attack. If you move it... Yeah, I guess you can move it. And knight h5, there's rook h6. So like, rook e6. So here... No, I, I don't think you should go after the pawn mm -hmm. right away. Because uh, the position is a little bit too... Checky, so maybe, maybe we even get do we get some sort of a checkmate or anything? Like, can we go like this, like this? Maybe get your king to h5 and and then like and then try to checkmate this king here. I That's possible. It's, not, it's like maybe just knight f5 or or like or like look at this. Wait, we're threatening the winning fork. I think we've actually trapped your king into it. But I can just yeah. But now mm -hmm. I think I'm gonna checkmate you. It's not mm -hmm. funny. Quite a beautiful finish to the game. Okay. Oh, well, no, I think h4 nice. is interesting in her situation. I don't think it's like a bad idea. Because um, rook h7 is the natural move, but it actually is bad. Mm -hmm. So maybe why don't we just play like rook d3 and then stop that pawn with the king. So yeah. the king can actually go back to g6 and h5 later. Mm. So go there so there's no knight d6. Go to d3 so there's no knight d6. Yeah. And then if I go there, yes, king g6, king g6, and if h5, maybe the king g5, just, king g5, maybe even king h4. Like, okay, let's look at this line. Rook here, knight g3, Check. king mm -hmm. g6, and h5. So 
now if you take the one times yeah? I lose yeah you lose the knight so king g5 king g5 Rook e5. I was thinking. Oh, there's rook e5. Wow. Yeah, I was thinking we go up. I thought that was your idea. Like, I don't know. Just h7. Like, there's this. Yeah, I saw that. And, like, but I, it fe felt like maybe black's king was getting really good. Maybe king h2 instead of bishop e1. Yeah, but here, like, look, white is apparently winning. Like, apparently, no one can stop this pawn. Mm. Ooh. A crazy line. Okay, rook d3 white. on the board. Ooh, so Gadechkin is using her extra time pretty well. She still has 21 minutes. Or no, no, she has 19 minutes now. So knight g3 is on the board. Knight g3. Only move king g6. Yeah. So I think she's gonna play h5 very soon. Yeah, it's, it's it, like Salima is under huge pressure. Like it's actually been such a change for her. Just I'm just talking about the time situation because. Because, you know, she knows she's supposed to try to win, mm -hmm. but it's so hard to win when you got this little time and you know that you might even, like, mess it up and lose. I mean, maybe losing is hard in this position, but, you know, when there's knights on the board, it's always possible to blunder something. So the king has to just play what? Yeah. h6? But h6 knight, okay. Yeah, yeah. I, mean, I, guess, I guess the thing is, though, yeah, like it's hard for her to blunder something because black literally has just like one pawn left. Mm. Right? So, like, at unless you get these forked, guys. I don't blunder, think you're guys. Really dangerous losing, but still, I feel like psychologically it's very difficult for her now. Right. So, the king should then go to g5 because there's rook e5, and the king should just stop the h1. Nampak tenang you guys, eh? They were main. Uh, you know, it's funny, someone was asking in our chat that if they hope that they'll ask Magnus about his handshake with an invisible opponent today. Mm -hmm. I was, I had a name for that. It's called the, the Biden opening. Yeah, or like, you know, when Hikaru tries to like, you know, play a move with the mouse, mm -hmm. even though he's got to write it down with, like, a a of, uh, with a pen, you know? Yeah. All right, so um, h5 on the board, Gedeachkina thinking about where to take her king. So apparently king h6 and king h7, they're both acceptable. King h6, king h7, and so only king g5 is bad. Mm. But the thing is, like, king g5 also feels you the guys. natural. It feels the natural. Guys. It feels like, well, when you bring up the king, it doesn't feel so terrible, right? But it's like, so you do have to calculate this. You know, like actually, that even though you get the super active king, like, it just doesn't do anything. That is a bit tricky. Alright, what did she do? She brought her king to h7. Okay, nice play by Gedeachkina. Staying out of the way of checks. And right now, she wants to get the pawn. It can actually only be protected by rook f1. And maybe then she'll bring up the king. Yeah. yeah. So I am very interested in looking it's at the time amazing, situation. It's going to be an amazing save by Gadejkina to save this game down two pawns. Yeah, and she has less than a minute on the clock, so she has mm -hmm. to she has to start playing faster. Yeah. Well, Two minute. Like I guess you know minute. the time is worth a couple of pawns, yeah. Yep. <laughs> that's, that's, that's often what you hear, in fact. Or maybe not only a few minutes, yeah? Uh, one point is like... Yeah. No, it's very hard. It's very hard to be trying to win this position. I mean, I think the advantage is basically gone. Her pieces are not going to be organized Ooh, enough. Awesome. And Black has all this activity. Yep. And then it's down to less than 20 seconds. Huh. Wow. Yeah. What did she do? Did she play... I don't even think she played... No, she played rook Oh, she did play F1. rook F1. Yeah. And now... Uh, just king h6. King h6. Mm. Ah, yeah, you don't have to do anything, right? You just have to keep waiting like that. Yeah, you just wait with king h6 because basically all your pieces are perfect and white can't move really the rook or the knight without losing a pawn and even the king can't really go anywhere after king h2. Yep, and she does it. it. Yeah. Yeah. So we are very resourceful. Defense by Gerechkina. Very, very resourceful. That was tough. That was tough. 
when the game went completely in the wrong direction, it looked just completely mm -hmm. lost for 